18th. July 18th, 2023. This is a red and black mason wasp pollinating our several passion flowers. And as you can see, its back is completely covered in pollen. And that's why, and there's just a fly on my phone. There's a million stink bugs and or assassin bugs right under these. Yes, I can see them now. And there's also these guys hanging out here. Can you hold the phone up to that fly? I'm trying to try and tap to this. But that's a yellow passion flower. That's a flora lutea. Oh, and this fly is over here pollinating this one. Thanks, oh, fly. Flew away. Yeah, come over to this one. Seems to prefer the passive flora lutea. Yes. But if it wants to cross pollinate the purple and yellow for me, go ahead. Mm -hmm. And this one's a male because it's got a yellow spot on its face, unless it's just more pollen. But I don't think it is. Passiflora lutea has these little, well, they're not, these ones aren't little because they're in full sun, but little soft three lobed leaves, little flowers. like that, and then they form little fruits. They'll get about the size of a big blueberry. They'll turn blue, purple. Oh, yeah, we got one here. That might be the first ripe one of the year. Ooh, look at that big bee. Yeah, cool, we're getting lots of pollination. So that's why the bee's back was covered in it. These uh, rear view mirror looking things have the pollen. And then uh, the other, th the skinnier thing sticking down there, you might not be able to see it, or where the pollen has to get to. So the bee goes from flower to flower, collecting pollen on its back, and then rubbing it onto the, I don't know what they're actually called in plants, the ovaries. Look at that tiny bee. They're helping too. Yeah, look at all those fruits we got. Hey, I just wanted to let you know that neither are moms, but they're working for like pollen and stuff. So she might have to drive over the horizon. Oh, one of the one of insects. Oh, there yeah, guys so is there. I don't want to startle this bee by getting too close, but yeah, you can see, just getting covered in pollen. <laughs> Including on the wings. And there's a fly there. That fly was over here, maybe not that fly in particular, but was over here. And here's the red and black mason wasp again. And they definitely prefer the yellow passion flower over the purple passion flower. Little bees for little flowers, big bees for big flowers. And both of these species are native to North America. And this is a, I think this one's an Eastern carpenter bee because they're really big. And also here's some uh, leaf miners on this one. And there's a gulf fritillary flying around. Yeah, come this way. So, maybe we'll get to see some egg laying. Or at least sit so we can show people what you look like. Yep, here's the... Ah. Uh, she's all the way down on the third plant down there. But this bee is still going. And... Oh, yep. Mason wasp. 
Oh, I, I do see some eggs now that I'm looking for them. So, where'd it go? Whoop. Try not to get the bee to land on me. I'm not a flower. Cause I, I have sunscreen on. I don't know if that's safe. Let me walk over this side. Oh, there's a spider web here. Cool. In my way. Where do those eggs go? I saw some Gulf fritillary eggs. I don't see them now. But anyways, you can look at all of these guys hanging out under here. And they're also native. Ah, here it is. That little... Excuse me. A little orange dot there is an egg of a butterfly. Might not be the Gulf Fritillary. Could be something else. Oh, and here's the spider. If I can get the camera to focus. I can never remember the correct name for these. It's like an orchard orb weaver. Mabel orb weaver something. Oh, it's got some fruit flies stuck in here. I didn't mean to assume that's a fruit fly. It might be an ant with wings. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize I was touching your wood. I think that's a winged ant. Let me try and get it. Closer look at this one. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, the wasp was just flying right near my face. And this is a different yellow passion flower we have that definitely needs a new pot. I'm sorry, but you have your web in the most inconvenient place. I'm not trying to mess Alright, I think that's it for this video. So, bye bye.